UFC controversy, Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz, Conor McGregor, UFC 196, motherfuckers, March 5th, 2015, 2016. Conor McGregor? He's on gear? Nah, man. He is natty. It's Conor, Mc... it's Conor McNatty, bro. Let me zoom in here. His camera's fucking on the gas, bro. Conor, man, he is legit. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Come a bit closer, come a bit closer. The UFC? Squeaky clean. UFC's as squeaky clean as World Cup soccer. Like, this is probably the cleanest of the clean would be World Cup soccer, maybe tennis, and UFC. Like, the clean of the clean. All those guys, man. Like, I mean, Nate Diaz, man, he was, he must have had some crazy bananas, man. Dude's vegan, alright? If you're vegan, man, like, your brain cannibalizes itself, you don't get enough protein. So he's just, he's just tripping, man. I mean, like, he's a legit guy on that, but man, like, nah, bro, steroids, man. Like, no, 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 no. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Alright, alright. There's no money in the UFC. So why the fuck would you risk your health? I mean, Conor McNatty, he is such a health-focused guy. He hasn't smoked cigarettes, he never smokes the pipe, he's just never drinking beer. I mean, he's he's got like an apple, organic apple juice label out named after him. It's not cider, it's not beer, it's full, nap, full natty Conor McGregor apple juice. And so there's, there's no money in it, man. Okay, so just fucking settle down. There's, why would someone fucking dope to win big prize purse? Steroids don't even fucking work, right? So there's no money in UFC. I know that for a fact, because Dana White, what he does on YouTube is he claims every little DM MCA copyright thing. If it, like a 12 year old fanboy puts up a bit of footage with Conor McGregor or anyone in it, Dana White files a copyright content ID so he gets every little last cent. Alright, so that's how broke they are, man. They're having to scab fucking 50 cents here and there off every 12 year old who does a fucking UFC fight compilation. The UFC is broke, man. They can't afford steroids. Like steroids don't even fucking work. I mean, just Conor McGregor was 65 kilos, man. And now he's 77 kilos. 12 kilo lean tissue gains. That's full natty bra. I mean, look, that's like Kino body, Primo body, Roido body, Primo testing body styles. It's, it's full natty bra, man. He's clean as a whistle, man. Clean as fuck. And another thing, man, they've got the United States Anti-Doping Agency working for him, USADA. And that's like the cleanest of the clean. Travis Tiger, Jeff Nagusi. Those guys have got integrity, man. They wouldn't chase up the World Cup soccer. No, no, no. They went after Lance Armstrong. They got him down, bro. And you know what? Their testing is so good. They actually caught Lance Armstrong with with a blood test. No, no, no. They didn't, did they? Fuck. You started never caught Lance Armstrong with blood testing. And what about Marion Jones? She was the most tested woman in athletes history. But she never got caught. I don't know what's going on. Anyway. Um, I'm just saying the testing is legit. The te I mean, if they... I mean, it... It just is, man. Don't ask me why, but it just is. It's Hisada, bro. It's fucking legit, man. Anything, it's just legit. Dana White says it's legit, it's legit. Don't fucking talk shit, man. Another one, I want to show Conor McNatty my full support. He's getting a lot of flack from this fucking crazy vegan banana dude, Nate Diaz, man. I mean, dude's like, he's cool now, but like, man, come on. Like, he's not, you know, Conor's a hardworking guy. He would never take that stuff. It, 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 drugs don't even work, man. If you take testosterone, you don't punch harder, man. You don't have more power. You don't have more aggression. Testosterone turns you into a fucking pussy cat. And you get in the ring and you go, hey, man, let's not fight. Let's just chill. Let's just chill, bro. What's up? I'll give you a shoulder massage. Trap, trap, Elliot Hulse trap game massage, bro. Game, itchy traps, man. You got itchy traps. You get the Elliot Hulse massage, bro. That's what Gaines does for you. Testosterone injections, man. It'll turn you into a pussy in the ring. A, a, a friendly kitten. A kitty cat. So you don't want to take that shit, man. It'll make you soft. It'll give you bitch tits, you know? Like, it just, it just doesn't work, man. And you just can't get them because it's illegal. And they're fucking banned since 1990. Steroids Act was passed from the FBI. Like, DIA. The DEA will be on you knocking on your door, man. You don't want to get it mixed up with that shit. Be, steroids are so hard to get. It's not like you can go to any gym and talk to any swolds and get them. You can't. It's creatine. And I just want to say as well, I'm not trolling. I'm definitely legit. I want to say, oh, this lady's coming. Fuck, she's going to ask me for steroids. Just keep walking. <clears throat> I don't have any steroids tonight. And I just want to say, I want to show Conor McNatty my full support. I will get all my can collecting money from selling hard and the fuck up hats and being sponsored by Nike, got fat, cut the fuck up, go vegan. And I want to fly over to where Conor lives. Oh shit, there's a bee on steroids. And I'm going to... I'm gonna, me and Connor, we're gonna hook up, and I'm gonna, we're gonna vlog it, and a few other big YouTubers want to vlog it. We're gonna go to Dick Pound's office, and the head of World anti doping Agency, and Don Caitlin, all those guys, who helped start up the carbon isotope ratio testing, and we're gonna give, I'm gonna pay for Connor's carbon isotope ratio testosterone test. That's the first line of test. You can't fuck that, it's really, really fucking hard to pass that test if you're on the gas. And we're gonna prove Connor's innocence. So Connor, 
get your bag, get your backpack. We're going to go to Dick Pound's office in the World Anti-Doping Agency. I'm going to pay for your carbon isotope ratio testosterone test. Measure your, your carbon 12 and your carbon 13 and see if it comes from synthetic or naturally endogenous produced testosterone. So we're going to prove Conor McNanny's innocence. He's not Conor McRoyder. He's not Conor Mc... Stanazolo. He's not Conor McWinnie. He's Conor McFucking Gregor. He is clean as a motherfucking whistle. This is Nate's house. I'm gonna throw some banana skins over there. Let's go, 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 go. If I could share any personal insight, I mean, once you lie once, you just keep lying, you keep lying. It's not as if I'm gonna sit here, you know, if this is 15 years ago, and Joe, you're a nice guy, and you, I mean, if I was on this podcast, I would have lied to your fucking face a million times, just so you know. <laughs> I, I would have. Just so you know. Just so you know. <laughs> but that's not a surprise to you or no. anybody else. But, but once you're in there, it's not as if I'm going to go, you know, this, this guy, Joe, seems like a really nice guy. I think I'm going to be real. I'm going to be honest with him. It's but, too much money. There's no well, way. You can't. Once you can't. that, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be honest with him. It's but, too much money. There's no well, way. You can't. Once you can't. that. Yeah. So no. I was, I was stuck for lack of a, of a better word in that, uh, in that, dis that lie or that deception. Is there anything about your dealings with Dr. Ferrari over the decade or so that you've known him and dealt with him that would suggest to you that perhaps he was using or encouraging mm -hmm. other athletes to use performance enhancing drugs or substances? No. In fact, to the contrary. Tell me what you mean by that. the contrary. He's the I know, I know you're, you're going to find this hard to believe, but he's, to me, uh, totally clean and totally ethical, believes in, in clean, fair sport, um, but produces great results with his athletes because he's, he's so focused.